Different brands may differ in their usage, so read all instructions carefully. Check with your pharmacist if you're unsure. Before you begin, check the expiry date and have a watch or timer ready. Perform the test in a well-lit, well-ventilated room and a flat, easy-to-clean surface to place the test kit like your bathroom. The test kit contains one test strip, one reagent container, one funnel, one cap and the user manual. Before you start, wash your hands with soap and water or use a hand sanitizer. Gently rinse your mouth with some water. You should wait for at least 30 minutes after eating, drinking or smoking where applicable. Do dry your hands if they are still wet. And now is the time to get ready for the kit. Open the seal of the reagent container and connect the funnel onto the container. To promote saliva production, rub the inside of your cheek with your tongue or gently massage the outside of your cheek. Spit the saliva into the reagent container via funnel until it reaches one-fourth of the container. Now, remove the funnel and put on the cap of the reagent container. Gently squeeze and shake the reagent container for 20 times to mix it. There is a container holder on the box, simply push through it and allow the reagent container to sit for 5 minutes. Don't forget to set the timer for 5 minutes. When it's time, open the test kit. Drop 4 drops of the mixed reagent into the test kit as shown. You're done! Now, wait for 15 minutes for your result. I know you're worried, but do not read the result earlier than 15 minutes or more than 20 minutes. Ta-da! We have the results now. How should we interpret it? If a line appears in C and T region, no matter how faint, it will be treated as a positive result for COVID-19. If a line appears in C, but no line appears in T region, it will be treated as a negative result for COVID-19. If there is no line in C, the result is invalid, likely due to incorrect testing procedure. You shall repeat the test with a new kit immediately or visit your nearest healthcare facilities for assistance. Once done, pack all the used materials in a plastic disposal bag provided with the kit. Double bag it with another plastic bag and tie it up before throwing it into the dustbin. Lastly, wipe down all surfaces the kit came in contact with and wash your hands or use hand sanitizer again. If you have any questions, please ask our pharmacist to know more.